Mariam is up early preparing the family meal for later. She's an excellent cook. Her husband lacks cassava or rice and fish from the market. Mariam is a contact tracer and visits people in her village who have come into contact with Ebola. She wants to stop the disease from spreading. Ebola can be caught by touching a sick person's skin, sweat, blood, vomit, diarrhea, or their clothes and bed linens. Someone in Mariam's village recently died from Ebola. Mariam asked the community leader if she can speak to everyone who went to the funeral or those who were in close contact with a person while they were sick. The community leader welcomes her. One of the villagers, Fode, went to the funeral. Mariam asked if he has a fever or any other signs of Ebola, including nausea, vomiting, a headache, diarrhea, muscle or joint pain, or a sore throat. He says no, for they is not showing signs of Ebola. His son Siddiqui also went to the funeral. Mariam asked him the same questions. Siddiqui has a fever and isn't feeling well. He is showing signs of Ebola. Mariam doesn't want Siddiqui to pass Ebola to anyone else in the family. She wants him to get better. Siddiqui is sent to be tested for Ebola. He tests positive. He will stay at the treatment center where he will be cared for. Siddiqui now has a better chance of surviving. He can't pass Ebola to anyone else. A village elder, Saran, helped prepare the funeral. She may have caught Ebola too. She refuses to speak with Mariam. She doesn't trust contact traces. She thinks Mariam will bring evil spirits or Ebola into the house. But Mariam is completely healthy. Saran is a risk to the village. She may have Ebola and could be giving it to others. Mariam visits Saran every day, hoping to speak with her. Mariam also visits Fode's family every day for 21 days. They should all stay at home and avoid any physical contact. She keeps a record of their health in her mobile phone. This information is kept private. The rest of Fode's family do not show any signs of Ebola. After 21 days, they are declared Ebola-free. Saran sees that Mariam is helping the villagers stay healthy and agrees to speak with her. Fode, Siddiqui and Saran went to the funeral. Fode was not showing signs of Ebola. Siddiqui was showing signs of Ebola and received treatment. Saran was a risk to the village because she had not been checked for Ebola. She could have passed it to others. Contact tracing stopped the spread of Ebola in Fode's family. Mariam hopes all contact tracers are able to speak with all families who are at a high risk of Ebola. Together, we can stop the spread of Ebola.